This mom got detained at security as her breast milk tested positive for explosives. But before we start, please give the video a like and make sure to subscribe to Wonderbot and hit the bell so you'll never miss any uploads from us. Moving through airports with young children can be stressful, especially when a baby's like cry turns into a full-on scream. That's why most parents will do their best to prepare for the trip beforehand to make things as easy as possible. Whether it's packing an extra drink or a child's favorite toy, every precaution can help ease a difficult scenario. However, when Heather Jones flew with her baby daughter for the first time, she wasn't prepared for the treatment she'd receive. Now, Heather from Colorado believes she'd prepared thoroughly for her first flight with her newborn daughter, Amelia, and she was aware of how tricky getting through security might be with strict rules applying for hand luggage, so the new mom, who was taking a flight from Denver to Los Angeles, did some research beforehand. So Amelia was three months old then. Heather knew that feeding would be a major factor in her daughter's comfort. So in the days ahead, she looked into how much fluid she could travel with to maintain her baby's routine. And as it turned out, the amounts allowed as well as the way they could be stored weren't too odious. That's right, because Jones headed to the airport with enough pump breast milk to last Amelia the journey. And the mom even froze some too to bolster her options. So it seemed as though the pair were set for a smooth journey through the airport and onto the flight. However, after Jones passed through the metal detector and went to gather her belongings, she was pulled aside by security officers. At first, the mom of one wasn't too worried because she'd followed the rules in relation to liquids, but suddenly things appeared to take a turn for the worse. Astonishingly, the officers had found traces of explosive materials. By the time Amelia turned three months old, Heather knew her daughter's quirks pretty well. Generally, the infant didn't make a fuss in public. However, the mom had a good idea of what would cause her baby to grow restless and how to fix it. Unfortunately, however, she was about to travel without the support of an important person in her life. For not only was this the first flight Heather had taken since becoming a mom, she was traveling without husband David. Therefore, the new mom did everything she could to make the trip as smooth as possible for Amelia and herself. As we'll find out, though, best laid plans don't always come out the way they should. So Heather described the incident post to the Facebook page of web group Breastfeeding Mama Talk. As she explained, I was flying with my three-month-old, first time flying with a baby, and it was just her and I. I did my research and brought frozen breast milk as well as fresh. Indeed, it's well known that security restrictions are in place for the amount of liquid permitted in hand luggage. However, how much fluid is allowed might not be the type of knowledge many casual flyers can call to mind. So prior to travel, Heather looked into how much she could carry with her. However, what Heather learned is that breast milk is allowed in larger quantities than other liquids. Indeed, most fluids are restricted to items of 3.4 ounces or less, and all should fit comfortably within a quart-sized bag. As she went on to explain, Amelia can be a bit picky about breastfeeding, so I figured I'd have both options for the flight, she said. But before she even boarded the flight, things started to go wrong for the new mom. You see, navigating airport security wasn't as plain sailing as she'd hoped. Getting through security turned out to take a much longer than expected, with a heart attack shutting down one lane and a wedged car seat shutting down another, Heather explained. Amelia was definitely getting hungry and fussy. Therefore, the situation was far from ideal for a mom juggling baggage and an infant who was getting restless. However, Heather eventually made it through the queue of passengers. But as it happened, the long queue and consequent delay with a grumpy child on her hands was just the beginning. As she reached the scanning machines, Jones's day was suddenly about to get a lot worse. And in fact, the reason why appeared to be quite random. As Heather explained, once I got through the metal detector and started collecting my things, I was directed to another area where the TSA needed to inspect something inside my bag. However, Heather had followed the TSA regulations to the letter and so she wasn't concerned about the issue, for she knew that her pump breast milk wasn't a problem, as it was a substance that the security body allowed. In fact, she believed that the matter would be resolved very quickly. Meanwhile, Amelia was starting to make a real fuss, but Heather knew exactly what to do to calm her little one down. Believing at the time that the milk wasn't the issue, she asked if she could feed it to her daughter. And what transpired afterwards might surprise you somewhat. Nope. Heather said emphatically of the security guard's answer to her request to feed her daughter. They put it in a machine and it somehow tested positive for explosives. 
Security officers all of a sudden started to treat the mom as if she'd done something wrong. And this is just the beginning of the ordeal. I was then surrounded by about six TSA agents and they made me wait till a woman agent could come over and give me a very detailed pat down, Heather described. At this point, Amelia was on edge, making all the motions of desperately needing to be fed. So how did the breast milk show traces of explosives? Yes, the TSA remains tight-lipped over what substances might trigger a false red light on its screening machines. However, the educational website ThoughtCo suggests that these scanners are designed to detect compounds used to produce a variety of bombs, and those substances tend to be nitrates and glycerin. However, as well as making bombs, glycerin and nitrates can be found in everyday cosmetics and personal hygiene products. For instance, glycerin is often used in baby wipes and hand creams. So it could be that glycerin was transferred to the bottle if Heather had applied lotion or used a wipe beforehand. What's more, Lucia Martinez, a representative of the TSA, told lifestyle website Healthy Way, our equipment tests for a variety of explosive components. However, Lucia refrained from commenting on whether glycerin was among those substances. She added, unfortunately, we don't publicly reveal what they are to not tip off anyone who's trying to game the system. Moreover, what it meant for Heather when she triggered the alarm was a thorough security check. For Heather was due to undergo a meticulous pat-down, while her hand luggage was subject to a rigorous search. For the mom, however, it turned into a stressful experience that kept her from comforting Amelia. Yes, so before Heather was subjected to the detailed pat-down, baby Amelia started squirming and showing real signs of discomfort. For the three-month-old was now ready for a feed, which, of course, couldn't be provided with the milk in question undergoing examination. Sadly, it didn't end there. They made me put Amelia in the stroller and hold my arms out while they started patting me down, Heather explained. She lost it. She just started screaming and screaming. I started crying because I couldn't do anything, looking down at her while the TSA agent took her sweet time with a very detailed pat-down. For the mom, however, the experience turned into a stressful one due to Amelia's crying. As she described, the agent finally finished and let me pick Amelia back up. Nevertheless, her ordeal wasn't over. As Heather explained, I had to continue standing there while waiting for the gloves to be tested. However, there was to be some light at the end of the tunnel. Finally, they came back with a negative result, Heather said. I was forced to dump the bottle of breast milk. I grabbed my stuff and walked over to the nearest place to sit, Amelia screaming the whole time. Finally able to feed her, we sat and I calmed down some. But even then, her ordeal didn't end. As Heather described, then a TSA agent came up to me and asked if he could find me a cover while I breastfed. Considering how she and Amelia had suffered while being searched, the mom was in no mood to indulge his request. And with that came a swift response. As Heather went on to explain, no thanks, I told him. He tried to argue, but I said, Amelia doesn't like having her head covered while feeding. Besides, she's almost done. He hesitated for a minute, then gave up. Finally, then the mom's nightmare was over and she caught her flight without further delay. Surprisingly, the TSA does not have any rules insisting moms should cover up in airports during breastfeeding. As a spokesperson clarified to Healthy Way, TSA does not have a policy on breastfeeding in public, nor are we against it. As she continued to explain, Amelia finished feeding and we caught our plane to LAX, Los Angeles International Airport, where I found a wonderful nursing room to feed her the next meal. Judging by the research she undertook prior to her flight, Heather is a mom who likes to be prepared. Indeed, she heard about other moms encountering problems at airports. I've read so many stories of other women having issues at airport security, Heather explained, but I really never thought I'd end up having such a hard time myself. After all that, she ended her blog post with a snarky message for the security body. Yes, the mom said, thank you, TSA, for an experience I'll never forget. What's more, allow plenty of time before your flight to clear security. And if the unfortunate happens and you trigger an alarm, stay calm and comply with security agents' requests. Because at the end of it all, it's in no one's interest to get suspected of doing something they didn't do. And just like Heather and Amelia, chances are you'll always get through. Eventually, at least. At the end, we want to know your opinion about the story in the comments box below.